Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys these four formers. I cannot say that word. These dupe of the curl formers. It's not really a tutorial whatsoever just because I didn't go in depth. And there's plenty of videos about this where people actually show you techniques and tricks. So I would recommend not expecting a tutorial off of this video, but I want to show you guys my experience with this and how I achieve these curls. So if you guys want to keep watching that, then keep watching that. I don't know. So let's talk a little bit about curl formers and why I decided to buy the dupe version. This is pretty cool to do, but I need to stop doing it on camera. So curl formers, I don't know if you guys have seen those around. You can get the Sally Beauty Supply and they retail for about $60. So I got this off of eBay retails for about twenty dollars with shipping i got it really fast and i feel like this is perfect so if you got money you can buy the real thing but if you also got money you can also buy the fake thing and save some coins so that's what i'm doing in today's video it brought this basically what you're gonna do is you'll just pop this bad boy like that you'll divide your hair and then you'll just place it on the curl and then you're going to let's do it correctly slide it out like that that's gonna hit your head and it's basically gonna have curls all throughout your hair so what's cool about this is if you guys want to play around with maybe your hair texture or if you guys want to stretch out your curls then you can really do these type of styles I like to do it for that reason so if I want to do maybe a sleek updo or any other hairstyle that's different than my natural texture I would gear towards perm rod or in this case curl formers aka faux formers formers besides the talking let's go ahead and show you guys how I achieved this it was really hard I didn't expect to take it that long but it did and you guys are gonna see that right now and did I mention I don't know what I'm doing um, this is not a tutorial there's plenty of tutorials out there but I bought these and I'm like you know what let me just record me doing it so you guys can see and so I can have evidence of me doing it I don't know so let's just do this you're doing too much hair. You want to see a video? Sure. Well, that's how it's supposed to look. Jesus! I'm gonna take forever. Just don't stress. Too late. Wow! How does everybody do this? This is hard. Oh my God. Not. I'm not gifted. I, I feel like by the time I finish my battery's gonna be dead. It's gonna be the next day. I'm gonna have to get ready for work. It's gonna be Thanksgiving already. When this video is posted, it's the week before Thanksgiving. But, goodness. Is this too much hair? They're saying always like an inch. So you're doing like two inches of hair. I don't know, inch, centimeters. Are you getting it? Yeah, you got it all, girl. Man. Okay, now this is a tutorial. I'm just kidding. You're professional. Not really. No, you're getting it now. See you guys in the morning. I'm gonna sleep with this overnight. Just take you an hour. Oh, okay, I gotta go. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. So it took over an hour to do these 40 curl formers all throughout my hair. I didn't expect it to take that long, but of course, things never go as planned. And I did sleep with it overnight. It was very difficult just because I like to sleep on my sides and I couldn't really do that I had to sleep on my back so I slept with it overnight and in the morning I did take it out so I do have footage of me taking it out so let's roll the tape I honestly can't see anything what do you mean from one eye oh okay so I slept with this overnight don't ask me how I did it you can ask me it was really hard so I'm just gonna start unraveling it so I'm gonna start taking it away I'm nervous. Ah. 
Not bad, not bad. I can work with that little bit of frizziness. Oh, that one wasn't that good. I honestly don't know what hairstyle I'm going to do with this. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to see what the heck I'm going to do to make it look somewhat presentable. Put it up in a ponytail, I don't know, but I'll see you guys in a little bit to do my intro. So this is a hairstyle that I came up with. My bad that I didn't film it just because I was in the bathroom and I was getting a little bit frustrated just because I didn't know what to do. So I fluffed my curls out. I detangled, not detangled, but I unraveled each spiral because they were very clumped up. So I just took them and then I broke them up into pieces and then was twirling it. But with these kind of hairstyles, I always have difficulties with my bangs area because I never know what to do with it. So today's video... I didn't film a tutorial. So what I did for this hairstyle is I added a braid. I don't know if you guys can see it. But there's a braid going all around here. I have my hair to the side. And I try to fluff it out. This side looks a little bit flat, but whatever. So now let's talk about would I do it again. Overnight, no. No, no, no. I would not sleep with it overnight. I would use a hooded air dryer. Just because I do like the result. I like that it left me with like very fluffy, soft spiral curls that I can brush out and have it as a an easy style to work with so if I want to do maybe a braid that's what I plan on doing this weekend like a braided ponytail not ponytail but like a braided a braid a side braid so that's what I'm really going to do but I would do this again to do those kind of stretch out hairstyles sleep with it overnight heck no but yeah I wouldn't anyways what else can I say about it just because it's not a tutorial it's just me trying out some curl formers showing you guys little clips and pieces and I think that's it. So now I really want to know, have you guys tried this out before? Have you guys heard of curl formers? Have you guys ever used flexi rods in here or perm rods? Let me know. It's crazy because I actually have flexi rods that I want to try out that I've been practicing. Not really practicing because I tried it once and I couldn't do it. And I was like, you know what, I'm good. But I do have flexi rods that I really want to practice with. So let me know if you guys have tried that out before. But that's pretty much it throughout this video. I'm done talking. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Let me know what videos you guys want to see next, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. So, I don't know if you can see, like, these are, like, very fluffy, soft curls. I do like it. I feel like it's going to be really frizzy once I step foot outside. So, I'm just going to stay inside for the rest of my life. But, that's it.